we'll look at a scenario where we have to restore a control file in an ASM disk group. So I have two windows open here. This is my Oracle window. That's for the RDBMS. And this window is running the grid infrastructure already logged into ASM CMD. I'm using an SP file which itself is in ASM. And I have two control files, one in the data disk group and one in the FRA disk group. So let's see what happens if I lose one of the control files inside ASM. Okay, so I am in the location where one of the control files exists and I remove the control file, the current control file there. So if I try to start up the database, it would fail to mount because one control file is missing. Instance startup is okay because the SP file is valid but the mount fails because the control file is missing. We can actually look at that from the alert log as well. So here we have the error. The control file in the FRA location is missing. So I need to restore the control file. That instance is already started up. Normally you would start up no mount again to restore the control file. So let's do that properly. So it's just shutting down the instance, clearing up the SGA. Remember, we have to restore the control file from the good location, which is here in the data disk group. So it has to be a start of no mount. And we, we can go into Rman. Actually, we could have done the startup no mount from Rman itself. And it finds that it's got one good control file and restores that good control file over to the missing control file. Now remember, the output file name has actually changed. Because whenever you copy a fi file into ASM, the actual output file name that, that gets created may change. Earlier it was 89648263, now it is 91143041. Okay, so it's a different file name. Similarly, you can see this, this, this is okay, the data con uh, control file is okay. 89648. 2631. So when I mount and open the database, it now uh, the mount at the mount state itself it is verified that the, the two copies of the control file are are consistent with each other so for the open is just verifying the database files and because i had a shutdown abort it decides it needs to do an instance recovery so it's actually also doing an instance recovery so it is open let me just go back in
you see the control file name this is the new name that has been automatically updated 91140411 if we saw it earlier it was a different the older file name so because we are using an sp file the process of doing restore control file from good to bad also has updated the sp file for us there the, the control file parameter is also updated if we were not using an sp file if we were using a plain text p file okay then we would have to manually update the control file parameter in the p file before we could even mount the database so this is a good advantage of using sp files whenever you restore control file from asm to asm the sp file is automatically updated because it knows that the file name inside asm will always change whenever you do a restore